didn't want to cuddle with the big boy right here. Handsome guy. Those are your okay. Welcome, everybody. Hi guys, it's Catalia. We'll see what shenanigans we get up to today. I need to relocate a copperhead. I need to feed all my birds. I need to do a lot of stuff because I'm going to Japan soon. Okay, let's go. Delicious little snacks. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> this little guy got stuck. You okay? What a beautiful turkey boy. <laughs> Good boy. How you doing, little deaf boy? Kim's deaf. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Check out the new and improved cavi pen, Patagonian Mara. Ta-da! They now have very nice enclosure. Double the space. Hey, Mr. Roger. How you doing? Oh, they hungry. Mr. Mara, you eat all your food? You hungry, girl? First things first. <laughs> get a mixture of a few different things. No bad chickens, you can't eat their food. Come in here, right? I still gotta organize a few things, but you got Miss Mara. She's a good girl. A wholesome little baby. A precious little critter. What is that big fly? Get out of here, fly. Get, you got Mr. Roger right here, who still doesn't really like pets. And that's, oh my, chaos. And that's totally understandable, because not everybody likes pets, and that is okay. But Miss Amara loves to be pet, don't you, honey? She's the one that I personally bottle fed, so she's pretty sweet, aren't you, Miss Amara? Now, show them how you throw it back, okay? Too hungry to throw it back? <laughs> we'll show you later. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. But now, instead of having just this area, they have all this area too. Still need to add some grates over here in the ground so they can't dig out. Yeah, and over here we got the babies. The little baby dearbies. Oh, that's Philly. That's a good dearby. How about you, Fauna? How you feel today? Oh, she peeing. Oh, hi, Laura. You saying hi to the deer? What a sweetheart, Laura. You tried to eat my overalls? They always just want to eat people's clothes. I don't know why. They got two brain cells, but that's okay. But yeah, it's very nice in here. <laughs> they have the shade here. I'm going to be putting some big boulders in here soon for them to jump and climb on. It's going to be a good old time, right, Amara? Right, Miss Amara? Yeah, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. So while I feed these off to my geckos, I'm gonna let the goats out to eat some grass. Who wants to chew on some weeds? Okay. Be free, nasty goats. Hi, lazy goat. Sweetest goat. Would you just look at this beautiful lychee boy? He is just so gorgeous. Time to peel him off. Look at this formidable beast of a gecko. This is the lychee that I got from Living Wild. I still haven't decided on a name for him yet. He's really beautiful, but I just don't know what to call him. I just can't decide. So if you guys have any name suggestions, let me know. And I can't decide which female to pair him up with either, but I'm thinking maybe Astrid, since her and Sully have never really gotten along for more than like a month or two. He's just, oh my gosh, model material. Look at that face. Have you ever seen such a gorgeous face on a fat little gecko? Oh, Freckles, will you grace us with your presence today? You went super viral on Facebook, so let's go ahead and show... Oh, Lapis is interrupting. Let me know in the comments if you think he's asking for help or if he's meowing. Going to bite me today? Or are you going to be nice? I can never tell with this one. Little Freckles, I still would like to find a female for him. I love palmetto corn snakes, one of my favorite snakes ever. So beautiful. What are you looking at? Hi, 
Hi, Nora Nora. You taking a nappy? We have a sticker problem here on the Catalias Critters Farm. At least they're not the really painful spiky ball stickers, but every single day my dogs end up looking like this. And there's no end to the stickers. Am I right, Laura? Will you tell them? Will you tell them all what I'm saying? Tell me if you've ever seen an animal with cuter hands. I love you, Opal. How are you doing this morning? Oh, we'll see you later. Opal, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. Oh, she got it. She happy. Oh, good job. Wasabi, it's your turn. Take a bite. Good job. Oh, that's okay. Wow, great job. Success. Oh my god! The one, the only, Astrid Gecko! I'm sorry. Can you tell me and everyone watching why you keep laying duds right there? And why don't you like any man that I present to you? None of them are good enough for you, are they? He says, I'm just too perfect and nobody is up to my standards. That's okay, because you're a queen and we love you. And you deserve the world, Astrid, even though you're not very nice. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay. Have, have a good day. Have a good day. Everyone say bye in the comments. Just a spoonful of sugar. Hamster medicine, go down. The medicine, go down. Medicine, go down. Just a spoonful of sugar. Hamster medicine, go down. He is the most delightful way. Take a look at this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous gargoyle gecko that you've seen many times before if you've ever watched my videos about my geckos. This is Valeria and she is a beautiful red gargoyle gecko and she comes from a very special male named Bacon. But she just looks like a strip of bacon or vegan bacon if you're vegan. And she's beautiful and like neon red. I tried pairing her up to one male and she didn't like him. She beat him up. So eventually I'm gonna find a really nice red stripe male to put with her. Maybe, hopefully from Deadpool lines, Tiki Scarecrows, if you wanna collab. Um, let me know, I love you guys so much. See you at Animal Con. Say bye bye Valeria. Or go bye. A dragon emerges from his cave and he emerges hungry and vicious and confused. He does not know English. He knows nothing other than chomp. Good boy. Good boy. Sometimes he knows cute, like right now. He knows cute. Okay, who am I kidding? He knows cute all the time. Very exciting news about Enzo. Enzo is having a plushie made that looks just like him. It'll be a limited thing, and then once the campaign ends, you can't get them anymore, so they'll be limited edition plushies. And I will be letting you guys know in a video and on all my other social medias whenever the plushies become available. Are you excited to become a plushie? Who wouldn't want to cuddle with this little guy every night? That's what I say. They're very high quality, big plushies. Stay tuned for updates. Let me pet. Oh, never mind. Hi, Butch. How are you today, little man? Check it. Oh, good boy. It's your turn, rusty boy. Here you go, handsome guy. Eat the cricket. Guys, look. <laughs> It's a frog! <laughs> Vacate the premises immediately! Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> you don't listen though. I now carry the scoop of righteousness. It grants me power and control among all hooved animals and feathery ones. <laughs> Franklin escaped! It's like Easter. These are a little old, so have some sustenance. Mmm, chicken periods. This sweet old gal gets some too, don't ya? Mmm-hmm. Yum, 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 yum. This right here is a dinosaur. And her name is Morla. Look at this big, <laughs> big man right here. I know, Red. It's not about you. It's a big boy right here. Red, it's not all about you.
I'm gonna take you guys with me to relocate this adorable little copperhead that I recently removed from someone's property. I've given it a few meals and kept it for a little bit because it was just so gosh darn cute. Now I'm gonna go let it go somewhere that it can survive and thrive in the wild. Let's take this little guy to its new home. You are just so freaking cute. I love you so much. Why are the venomous ones the most cute? I just wanna give you a kiss. Don't worry, I won't. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna actually use him as a feeder for my pet here. Um, this is Charles. Into the bucket. Look at this cute little baby. Nope. Nope. We're here in the wilds of Texas, relocating a beautiful broad-banded copperhead. I get a lot of people asking me, why do you relocate venomous snakes? Why don't you just kill them? That's not a nice thing to say. These little guys serve a very important role in the environment. Believe it or not, venomous snakes are very important for the ecosystem. And typically, unless you mess with them, they won't mess with you. Of course, there's always incidents where people end up stepping on one or accidentally touching one and then it bites them. But as you can see, this little guy just wants me to leave it alone. So now you have a chance to continue your life in the wild, little snake, where you will help control the rodent population and maintain the ecosystem. That is a cute little animal. This is actually pretty close to where it was found, so it should have a good chance at reestablishing. I let them go in a predetermined location that has all of the resources that they would need to survive in the wild, so even if they're not relocated near where they were found, they have a pretty good chance at making it. You were just a sweet little snake. See, look at that. You guys have watched me relocate a snake. If you can and you have time, learn the native species in your area. So if you come upon one in the wild, you can kind of know the situation that you're dealing with. It's okay to ask for help and call a professional. But anyways, let's let this guy go before I get absolutely eaten with mosquitoes. I'm gonna put him down right here. Look at how well he camouflages, that's crazy. Go on into the wilderness, be free. Hey guys, here to say thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. I wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so thank you for being here, thank you for watching my videos, and a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Hi Cerise. Okay, yep, just come on up. As a Patreon supporter, you get early access to a lot of my YouTube videos, you get behind the scenes photos and videos, you get to see my new animals first before anyone else, you get to see my available geckos and animals before anyone else, and I always answer my messages on Patreon. So if you have a question about animal care or my videos or anything like that, shoot me a message on the Patreon. Also have P.O. Box if you would like to add to my beautiful wall of art that you guys have made for me. I appreciate you guys so much. I just come in here and I stare at this wall and I just cry. And then of course my plaque. Next up, one million. Stay tuned for some awesome videos in Japan because I'm going to Japan soon and I'm gonna film for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. And early access and behind the scenes on my Patreon. I'm gonna be posting tons of awesome photos from my Japan trip on my Patreon. But anyways, thanks so much again for being here. I am so grateful and I can't wait to start rolling out more videos for you guys. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see or any questions you have in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!